The Naira scarcity continues to bite harder. It's not business as usual for trade and supply chain transactions as there are some complaints of challenges with electronic payment alternatives and lack of cash. Bamdele Ayimbo, an expert consultant, joins me now for more. Uh, thank you so much for your time today, uh, Mr. Ayimbo. And let's get your first your take on uh, your assessment of this policy yeah. on the surface of it and more or less how it's impacting manufacturers. Uh, I mean, there's no more, no brainer that the policy is not well implemented. The fact that the business environment is suffering, Nigerians are suffering. I mean, you'll have seen a lot of videos in different parts of the country of how it's so tough. And the coins that we have not seen in many years are now imagine. And you see people collecting coins at the bank. I mean, it's just a chaos. I mean, in different parts of the country. And uh, I hope CBN will do something to ameliorate the suffering of Nigerian people as soon as possible. Yeah, but uh, let's look at the, the moves they've done recently. So they've, they've recently just approved the over-the-counter payment of new notes. I think, how do you, how, by how much do you think is going to uh, resolve the challenges here? But, but that's, that's just for 20,000 Naira, if I'm not mistaken. And this is impacting a lot on trade and impacting a lot on business. Maybe I'll be talking about that later on. I, I mean, I'm talking about from an export perspective mm. now. But the fact that there's still a restriction of, I think, about 20,000 Naira is still a challenge. So I don't know what the problem is. Is it that we don't have enough note printed? Is it that the notes are not getting to the bank? Is it that the bank are giving it to the politicians? Who, why exactly is going on? We're not aware. We don't know. I mean, CBN is not telling us exactly what's going on. OK, but in the implementation of this policy, how would you have liked for uh, the, the priority to be given to trade, supply chains, and even the manufacturing processes, basically? Yes. I mean, if, what we would have expected is if there is no I think the challenge, two challenges here. Number one, the supply of the cash itself uh, is a big challenge. Now, let me look for it from look at it from export perspective. You know, Nigeria is largely commodity dependent nation. Uh, we export a lot of agro commodities, and if you look at the supply chain, we have the farmers, we have the local buying agent, we have the merchant, and then we have the exporters. Now, between the farmer and local buying agent, and even between the mash and local buying agent and the merchant. A lot of cash are deployed within that space. A lot of cash deployed. So, and you know, it's interesting that also in Nigeria, we have a lot of export between Q4 and Q1, because that's where harvesting will have happened. The, there is, uh, it's already in dry season, so we have sun to be able to dry. So it's easier to be able to export a lot of commodities. And this is the time that we are not having challenge with cash. So I, I, I don't know, I mean, giving priority, I don't know how Spain will be able to do that because they will have enough for the country. But the impact on trade is my worry right now. Sincerely, it might be affecting the volume of export that we'll be able to do. And considering the fact that we're looking for foreign exchange, mm. we might also see a situation in which we we'll probably have maybe to a large extent division of Naira as a result of this challenge. Yeah, because I was speaking to an analyst yesterday, and she also brought up a very interesting point. She talked about the threat of the dollarization of the economy further, because uh, more, because more, more people across, across the value chains will be looking at uh, trading other currencies other than the naira. Yes, it's already happening. There are news that people in the border, con I mean, border state are trading in sefa. They are trading in sefa. So, I mean, instead of trading naira, they're trading sefa because, I mean, the neighboring countries also sell, buy, I mean, take sefa, and they literally use another currency within Nigeria because of the confusion already created by this process. You know, the, the, the challenge for this now is that if we have a reduce in export volume, we have a reduction in FX inflow. If we have a reduction in FX inflow, we're going to have pressure on naira. Hmm. And of course, you know the implication of that. Yeah, we because at the end of the day, we're trying to work on, on our competitiveness uh, uh, in, in, terms, in terms of manufacturing and output that comes out of this country. And when you look at how, how this is all playing, it's going to definitely have a final imp impact on the final prices, the pricing there. Uh, uh, and what, would, uh, what, do you, where do, what do you see as a way out of this for, for people in your space, in the export business? Number one is to identify whether, what, is, what is the challenge right now the, what, because I have from even when CBN governor met with the House of Rep, we are not the, the challenge is not being pinpointed. Is it that the, the the cash is not being deployed to the branches of bank on time? We really don't know what the problem is because you, for you to be able to provide a solution, you need to know exactly what the problem is. Yeah. So the, for, for the manufacturer now, the challenge we have right now is 
we are we're already buying FX in parallel market to be able to import. Now we're going to have to deal with increase in that rate. And if you check the, the trend, there's been an increase in the rate. See, between December and now, there's been an increase in the rate of FX because of, I mean, and this challenge is continuing a lot to it. So I will be able to offer solutions to CPA because I really cannot pinpoint exactly where the problem is. Is it that we don't have enough produce? Is it that we produce and deploy to the bank? I know for a fact that, I mean, it's been confirmed that it seems as if a number of banks are doing some chart practices, giving the money to some people. I mean, if we are not having enough to be able to spend, and you can see video, imagine online, of people spending in party. They are not spending in, in, in bits, so they are spending the bail in party. So I don't know if people are buying it and they are selling it on the street. I don't know. I mean, I'm even hearing that there's now a rate for Naira to Naira. If you're going to buy Naira, you have to pay more to, be able to get Naira because you need cash. Yeah, because that's what's happening with the, with the POS operators, right? For the everyday Nigerian who wants cash and can't access it to the banks, you have to get from the, the POS operators, and they, that comes with a fee. It's a challenge, a, a very, very big challenge. I, and I think it would be good for CPF to just make good that promise that even after the February 10, we are still going to be able to come back and change. So, so that they don't be there because the matchup I told you about in export. The real challenge for them now is they don't want to collect the Naira you have, your own cash. They want to collect the new one because they have old no stock. A number of these local government do not have banking. They don't have bank there to be able to put the cash. And you're saying that they cannot deposit that money after the expiry date. Now, CPN have confirmed that at the behalf of red meeting that you can still bring your cash to the bank to collect and you can credit your account with it. If that happened, then the pressure will, will go down. But I'm not sure if that has been percolated down. And so that at the end of the day, people can still collect even the old Naira note. Now, right now, many of the masters are not collecting the old Naira note again. They want the new Naira. And people don't have a new Naira, and then it becomes difficult to be able to buy this product.